to how do you locate irrational numbers on a number line. Okay, let us take the case of under root 2. Now, consider a square A, B, C, and D. Given A, B is equal to 1 unit. Therefore, the length of AB is 1, BC is 1, CD is 1, and AD is equal to 1. Now, let me draw a diagonal AC. We know that a square is right angled on all its four corners, right? Which means that if we see this particular area, which is nothing but a triangle. So this can come out here as ACD, where this side is one, this side is one. Now we know in the right angle triangle, applying the Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the sides. So sides are AD square plus CD square or AC square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square which is nothing but 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So AC square is equal to 2 Therefore, by implication, it turns out that AC is equal to under root 2, the square root of 2. But the question which comes up is, and which we are kind of looking at is, how do I, how do I represent this number, which is AC? So this basically side is equal to under root 2. Now, how do I represent this number O2, AC, which is under root 2? The length of AC is equal to under root 2 on the number line. Right? Now, that is fairly easy. Now, under root 2 cannot be broken down further because we know that the square root of under 2 is not a positive number. So, what I do is, I will draw a number line Let's say I have 0 here, 1 here, 2 here, 3 here, 4, and I have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. So what I will do here is, I will replicate this figure, replicate this figure which is here, the ABCD square on the number line. Okay, now when I do this, the care I need to take is that this point A has to coincide with 0. So what I will do here is, I will take a compass put the needle here, measure this angle AC or take the length of AC and then I will draw an arc on the line, on the number line. So the point where this arc cuts on the number line, this point basically, is going to represent the number under root 2 on the number line. Because once I have this length, which is under root 2, and I kind of take an arc of an equivalent length and start molding it, the point where it strikes 
on the number line should be equal to under root 2. So that is how basically you kind of locate irrational numbers on the number line.